Fat Man Skateboarder 3. I, I feel like at this point he became self-aware. Because the description is, here I am, doing everything I can, holding on to what I am. I'm the skateboarding fat man. And if those words don't make any sense to you, allow me to, to iterate them to you in a manner in which you might understand. So here I am, doing everything I can, and holding on to what I am, because I'm the skateboarding fat man. You know the, the song? Didn't, uh, didn't really try to sing it in, in a manner that sounded uh, appropriate or good, but it's, it's Superman by Goldfinger, which is the song from Tony Hawk's Pro Skater that everyone remembers. Is it? Okay, hang on. Yo, you can see, this is the same fuck it. This is the level again. It's the same one. You got, you got this. Okay, even when, when Tony, Hawk, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater doesn't have copies of the same stage, right? No, they don't do that. This this level this level with this, with the the soccer balls I'm sorry the footballs is the, it's been in all three games. So here I am doing everything I can, holding on to what I am, pretending I'm a Superman. How did I do that? I just I sang the song. The song is magic, and it it made me I I beat it. I beat the thing. I just I did it. Sing every stream. Okay. Just rock it. Stop playing. What the fuck? <laughs> He's upside down now, too. <laughs> You'll donate two whole Twitch pennies if I sing the Mulan song. Stop playing this shit. What the fuck now? Like, I just... I don't understand you. I want to, but I don't. Also, I feel... Oh, that's the end of the game. That's... And this is the lowest rated game. And it came out uh, March 26th, 2005. The description is to take, take penalties, save them, enthralling. Penalties, a bad game by now and checkered ink. Press spacebar. Okay, so I'm controlling the man, the goalie. Space bar? What are these? Why can I do this? Can I just... I can just... Okay, I can scroll them off the screen. How do I start the game? Wait. What? Okay, wait. So, eight... Oh, it's a two-player... Okay, I, I, see what, I see what this is. I see what this is. It's a game for two players on the same keyboard. Arrow keys are the goalie, and WSAD is the is the kicker. So you do this, and if I press S to kick, well, what was that? <laughs> what he spins around? So I, I guess if you were playing with with somebody else, right? That I guess like you know I, I'd be going like this, ready to apprehend the ball. And then the person kicking would, would also be doing this, and you'd be kind of dodging back and forth before he goes like that. But it seems like the ball doesn't... Oh, never mind. I was going to say, it seems like the ball doesn't move fast enough to to really get it to... So you can always just... I don't know. <laughs> I, I didn't realize these games were going to be two-player. Otherwise, I would have been like, hey, FPS Reflex, why don't you come over? We'll play a game where you kick balls into a soccer goal. Also, we'll play a real fucked up game about a guy having a gender identity crisis. And we'll also... We got one of these, too. I mean, now is, now is alive. Now, now that's what I call gaming. Is... Is there a game called Aardvark Come? Well... Why... <laughs> There's a game called Art Aardvark CWM. Uh, God, I hope that's not censoring something. And <laughs> how <laughs> Aether Wolf, that is a. Where did you did you see this on one of the things when we were clicking? Did did you look this up? Because that's an awfully that's an awfully specific thing to ask. Unless we're talking about. Arthur fanfiction. 
in which case I think that's an expectation. But the, the Welsh Icelandic aardvark, Nergar, has found himself heading north in the world to solve people's problems. <laughs> Disclaimer, this game is very, very tongue-in-cheek. If you are very easily offended, escape and return to your lives. <laughs> Now, anybody who was easily offended left the minute, the minute, I told a joke during the trans game. So everyone who's still here has, they've buckled up. They've, they've made peace with, with their god. Hit space to begin aardvarking. Use the d-pad to navigate Nergarland. Interact with Shizzle by walking up to it. When, did this game, when was this game made? 2012? 2013? Nobody was still saying shizzle in that year. So we got a, a... A tree. That's happy. We got some people on a ferris wheel. We have uh, two condoms. And we also have what appears to be a game journalist. What's up? What's up, soy boy? Nah, ha, 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 ha. Well, actually, soy boy is not the right term because his mouth is not open. So that's, that's incorrect. I, I will admit when I'm wrong. Also, looks like we have a, a sexy aardvark. I love to give you a freebie, but it's $50 a time, hun. So this is not only a, a sexy aardvark, it's a hooker. It's a prostitute aardvark. Don't tell the police I'm hiding here. My Bombay mix is out, and I don't want them eating it. Who the fuck is this? Is this... Is this like David Letterman as a gay superhero? I need three of them potatoes so I can think about entering this here GMC jam. Diddly bop, squiddly bop. I don't know how I just instinctively knew how to read that in that voice. That's uh... What's the sign say? We got another achievement. 20... 20... Bo 2D boy fired me after they finished World of Goo. <laughs> Signed the sign painter. Sorry. Sup, nerd. <laughs> that, I did, that looked like something totally different when I looked at it the first time. Is this is this fucking two the ranting griffin up here? Hola and other Spanish words. Nope, it's not two the ranting griffin. He would have said something racist. Wait, what? Oh, I stepped on the grass and I rustled. I'm getting all okay. So I I guess like am I just supposed to? Wait, what what did I? Where did he go? I get. Here's 50 bucks for not snitching on me. Okay, I need $50 to make you holler. I get paid to do the wild thing. I've planted an oak tree in your name, hon. Thanks for using Ardstitute. Please come again. All right, we're off to the rave. Yeah, ha, 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 ha. I, uh, there he goes. I got another condom. Uh, so what, what all is there left to do? What do I have to... Does the game end? Peeing yourself. Did I press P? Why did that work? The, the description just says a 19th birthday present to myself. 19. Uh, May 15th, 2010. So that means that Nal is the 27 years old? So I'm older than him. Great. <laughs> This guy's made this many... Okay, now I know most of the games this guy's made have been total shit. But, uh, I'm three years older than him, and I have made... Less... Less than 130 games. Yeah. So th this guy has, um, uh, power worded himself. This is a short game created by Andrew McCluskey as a reverse 19th birthday present. Though, if it's not May 15th, you're too late now. Hit spacebar. 19. Oh, hey, is it WSAD? Yep, sure is. We got a mouse control. We got, all right, well. He moves very fast, too. And we got to jump, too. Can we jump on the, th yeah, look at that. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling this. I mean, it's, it's kind of strange to, well, we got the, we got a case of, wait, no, we don't have a case of doom walls. They're not paper thin. Damn, all right. Happy birthday. 
<laughs> what is... Am I supposed to run away? Well, we're gonna see what happens. Oh. Oh, the lights went out. Okay. Well... <laughs> July 7th, uh, 2007. Is that 777? Yeah, that is. Okay. May 15th, 1998. Two months after his disbarment, Dildo the Clown decided to drink a bunch of cough medicine. His throat was sore due to two months of non-stop crying. All of that cough medicine made Dildo hallucinate. Poke Dildo the Clown. So we just... We're just clicking the Dildo the Clown. That's it? What? I swear to God, this is like some fucking like this is like clock crew shit from from Newgrounds. Dildo, July thirty first. Okay, there is there is such a thing as July thirty first. Dildo the clown moved to Ireland, where he got a job clowning in a sewage factory. The rancid shits that fell out of his bottom were no longer a problem. Dildo the clown no longer needs to be poked. The end. Ten years. Ten years after, so this guy, this dude made a game, right, about a clown who drinks cough medicine and then shits in a sewage factory. Ten years later, he loses his fucking mind and makes a crazy Tumblr game. It can happen to anyone. It can, it can happen to anyone. Ten years from now, <laughs> I'll be in my forties. Ten years from now, I could completely go off the deep end, and y'all would Google me to be like, I wonder what DracoCon's jerking off to you these days. Google me, like, oh no! Oh shit, what happened to him? I remember when he was telling jokes on Twitch about Dildo the Clown, and he specifically said, you never know what happens in ten years. I guess there was some credence to that. Also, I'm giving you this weird life advice forward slash story forward slash hypothetical situation while over on the screen is a is a thing that literally just says it, it says dildo the clown it, it's a sentence that begins with the proper name dildo the clown capital d capital c 433-2 the world you inhabit is the game For the next 4 minutes and 33 seconds, everything you do and experience in the world around you comprises the game. Contains scenes of graphic nudity if you take your clothes off. <laughs> so, four, 4 minutes, 33 seconds, 2. Is it a, is it a sequel to... Was Is there another... Did you do the same joke twice? I don't understand. I For the next 4 minutes and 33 seconds, everything that you say, see, do, and experience in the world that surrounds you is a part of 433-2, inspired by John Cage's composition 433. So if, it's, if that's a song, if you were to turn this game on and start that that composition at the same time what would happen oh demonic void it's silence the 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 the, the song is silence God, then john cage is not a composer here's okay here's the thing here's the thing if i could compose your music 
you're not a composer because I'm not a composer. I don't know shit about music theory. Well, relatively, I don't know shit about music theory, but if I could do it, then it's not a thing. <laughs> Demonic Void just checked. It's silence. Okay. So technically, technically, so wait, <laughs> does that mean, does that mean if I make a YouTube video that is four minutes and 33 seconds of just like a black screen that's silent, will I get content ID'd? You guys are talking about like real shit in chat. I guess, well, I mean, you know, for the next however much time is left in this four minutes and 33 seconds, talking about like debt and depression and shit like that. This isn't a very good game. I feel like, like, uh, if I would have known this was gonna be like silence and this was gonna be like a like a five edgy nine me type thing, I could have spun it to be like, you know, th I could have tried to have been proper, right? And it's like this is if this is a game that's supposed to be about silence, you could like think about, just th think think about, you know, like a like a memory, or something like that, and. For the next four and a half minutes, take yourself out of the shitty place that you're in right now and just go back and live in another time. And then when the jump scare pops up or whatever the fuck is going to happen at the end of this, then we'll be like, hey, all right, look at, well, welcome back to, welcome back to reality. Life sucks. Subscribe to Gatorbox, support my Patreon, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Furfinity. I don't fucking care. <laughs> the game did exit on its own after four minutes and thirty-three seconds. How how deep? How how deep? Ouch! Spherical specialist. It's spherical. From uh, what was that twenty? The June twenty-fourth, two thousand seven. Absorb the incoming spheres. Do not let them touch the red arc you can control. Okay. Do I use the arrow keys? Do I, how, how do I, how do I control my sphere? Oh, I see. I just, I'm playing as the, the shield on the outside. I just move it around. So they, yeah. Okay. I feel like we're, maybe we'll play another game after this because I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm already. Okay, I'm already tired of it. Now hang on, this high score list only has seven people on it. How come I'm not on the high score? Fuck off. Now? Hang on, let me see something. If I if I die, put me on the high score list. Hang on, we, we're go, we're gonna start this game back up. Nineteen points. There I am. I'm number three. Look at that. DracoCon, 19 points. I didn't even try, and I have third place worldwide leaderboards. Third place spherical specialist. You, my, my 19 points, we played the game 19 earlier. Flochinhipflication. Flo Collect all of the worthy green pickups while leaving the worthless harmful ones. Keep an eye on their pattern differences. So, let's play a little bit of... Did it not work? Alright, a, a box just popped up. I don't think it's being captured. Uh, although the definition of the, the, the word appeared, the... The estimation of something as being worthless is what that apparently translates to. <laughs> oh, I see. There's different. So the you want you don't want the plus sign ones. Whoops. This. <laughs> what year did this come out in? It's very strange that the the ball the red balls can move different they they move much more fluidly than than mine. I just move a square at a time. It's like it's like some weird hybridization of, of the like chips challenge. Oh, now it's alive, but I'm not. Oh wait, wait, are we at the Oh. Got to go through here. Oh, we be, we beat the first stage with Literally, literally that much health. 
Oh no, but do we have to get all the things? The oh my god, we didn't pick up all the dots. <sighs> Fucking Mal, come on, man. This is a space bar? No. No. Uh, if you guys are down for more Now is Alive Game Hell next week, because there's a lot of ground we didn't cover, uh, I'm game. There's a lot more to, to digest in Now is Alive than I was anticipating. There's a lot of games here. There's a lot of. There's a lot more variety to the games than I was expecting. If you think about the games we saw tonight, they spanned a giant swatch of time. We had like the, the 3D game called 19, where it was just a dumb pop scare with goofy music. But you think about that, that was a game we were walking around in three dimensions, made by the same guy who also made the game where we were doing the mouse, the pointer maze, while somebody was having fucking a gender identity crisis, and a fat man on a skateboard. That's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> and we also had we had one of these too. 